During spring migration, two similar looking brightly colored birds make their way back into the United States, the blue grosbeak and the indigo bunting. Males of both these species are bright blue, frequently overlap in geographic range, and can be found in the same habitat. This means birders will likely need to differentiate between these two species when identifying them in the field. The good news is that there are some surefire ways to tell these birds apart. I'm Derek from Badgerland Birding, and this is ID Tips. As far as size is concerned, there's a discernible difference between the blue grosbeak and the indigo bunting. Blue grosbeaks typically range between 15 and 16 centimeters, while indigo buntings are between 12 and 13 centimeters. This means that in theory, an indigo bunting should never be as large as even a relatively small blue grosbeak. While it's hard to tell size on a single bird by itself, a side-by-side -side comparison shows the difference distinctly. The range of these two species differs slightly with much of it overlapping. The blue grosbeak's general range is as far south as Central America during the winter months and as far north as North Dakota in the summer. They span from the west to the east coast and can be found readily in the southern United States. While the blue grosbeak is widespread in the U.S., their basic range does not typically go north of Colorado and Indiana, with only a few individuals spotted annually during summer in states like Wisconsin. Much like the blue grosbeak, the indigo bunting winters as far south as Central America. This bright blue bird also inhabits most of the southern U.S., with the exception of parts of Arizona and Texas. It's also notable that the indigo bunting's range seems to skip over western Mexico. Unlike blue grosbeaks, indigo buntings make their way much farther north in summer, as they are found in every state east of Montana and even certain parts of southern Canada. Another factor to help differentiate these two species is bill size. The indigo bunting has a relatively small conical bill, while the blue grosbeak has a comparatively larger chunky bill. Though males of both these species sport a similar blue color, there are some distinct differences in color pattern that can help make the difference in identification. The blue grosbeak has a small black mask near the base of the bill going over the eye that the indigo bunting lacks. Blue grosbeaks also have very distinctive rusty wing bars that serve as an extremely reliable field mark. Female blue grosbeaks lack the deep blue of the males, instead they are a dark tan or light brown color, but still have the same rust colored wing bars. Male indigo buntings are almost entirely blue, with some of their only other coloring being a varied gray to black on the wings. They do have a very small amount of black near the base of the bill, but not nearly to the degree that the blue grosbeak does. Females are a lighter shade of tan than the blue grosbeak and lack the wing bars of blue grosbeak females. I do want to also mention that you can differentiate these birds by call. If you do encounter them in spring, the males should be up and singing. These two species coexist in similar habitats and have overlapping ranges. Therefore, it's important to know how to differentiate these two in the field. Even in places where only one of these species can be found, it's still good to know how to tell them apart. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching this episode of ID Tips.